Please welcome Mr. Jerry Barrett. Thank you. Thank you very much and uh, good evening and thank you for uh, having me out. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity to be, to be here in honor. And uh, boy, I love show business. I love show. In fact, uh, thank goodness for my granny. She gave me the best advice. She says, you want to get into show business, you go west, young man. You go to Winnipeg. It's the land of milk and honey. <laughs> Sadly, I'm lactose intolerant and diabetic. Did me no good whatsoever, but here I am. Love show business, it's very exciting. You get to tour all across Canada. You get to see some exotic places, meet some wonderful people, and I just love that. I just love that. But you know what? When I go to a town, I go to a new city, and they, they see me, they oh, you're an Aboriginal uh, comedian. Well, welcome to town. You know, and I'm like, well, you know, uh, traditionally, in our culture, we don't have stand-up comics. We have storytellers. They said, oh, okay, Mr. Aboriginal storyteller, uh, tell us where you've been and where you're going. And those are just the police. Then I get to the show. <laughs> But I bring you greetings from my First Nation. I'm a proud member of the Saugeen First Nation in Southern Ontario. And it's nice to be rich. And I see some youth here. I see some youth and that's, uh, I, I, love, uh, I, I love acknowledging the youth. Uh, you've got a wonderful journey ahead of you. I remember uh, when I was a youth, I had some magical experiences. 1965, I was abducted by aliens. <laughs> Pretty scary stuff, abducted by... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Abducted. I'm sorry, I meant to say I was adopted by white people. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty much like an alien abduction when you think about it. Because they snuck onto the reserve, they took me away. I had to learn a whole new language, a whole new culture, a whole new way to do my income tax return. Really freaked me out. <laughs> Thank goodness, uh, I was adopted by a wonderful uh, set of uh, new, uh, uh, new mom and dad in Grand Valley, Ontario, a lovely farming community, Grand Valley, 1,000 white people, and now me, all right. <laughs> I fit right in. <laughs> but my mom and dad, Joseph and uh, Phyllis Barrett of Grand Valley, loving parents, uh, very proud of them, and uh, they said, you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. Whatever it is you choose, follow your dream. And I wanted to be a radio disc jockey in the worst way. And uh, so they said, okay, fine, go to school, study, go to college, we'll send you to college. It took a lot of money to make me sound this white, I'll tell you that much, but I made it. <laughs> Finished at the top of my class and set off on my big radio journey. And I finally made it out to Winnipeg on a, a major market station. I was so proud of myself, you know. And I finally got to go out and meet some of my listeners, you know. So I got to meet them and they say, oh, you're Jerry Barrett, the radio DJ. We listen to you every day. Yeah, you don't sound like an Indian on the radio. <laughs> I don't know. So I got into showbiz. You know. I thought I could, if I went out and did stand-up comedy, perhaps I could reverse some of the stereotypes that people might have about Aboriginal people. And, uh, but while stand-up comedy wasn't really my first uh, choice uh, for entertainment, I wanted to be an exotic dancer. <laughs> an exotic dancer. And then my wife said, uh, you can't be an exotic dancer. And I said, why not? She says, do a little spin, Ojibwe man. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> she says, you have no bum. It's all fun. <laughs> they think you're from the prairies. Like, you took my land, you took my bum. Hello. <laughs> we can negotiate the land, but I need my bum back. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I'm a little bit older now, so I'm starting to, uh, you know, uh, maybe think about another, something to do, another challenge in my life. And uh, I've, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I'd like to become Canada's very first Aboriginal Prime Minister. What do you think about that, huh? Vote for me! Free Slurpees for everybody! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Can you imagine if I ran for pram, Prime Minister and actually won? All the weird telephone calls I get the very first day in office. 
Hi there, Prime Minister Big Bear speaking. How you doing? Huh? What? Thousands of buffalo charging up the Trans-Canada Highway? Cool. Yeah, I know. I put them there. No, don't shoot them. They were here first. Read a book or something. We would never... Hi there, Prime Minister Big Bear speaking. Hmm? Oh, Jean Chrétien! You enjoying your retirement? Huh? You don't like it on the reserve. No, 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 you have to stay there. Any advice for you? Yeah, don't drink the water. Bye-bye now. I have to go too. Bye-bye.